everybody. This is Kristen Basket. I'm the Solutions Marketing Manager for TrueSight Operations Management. And today I have with me Patrick Campbell, who is our very smart and very talented technical marketing guru. Today's TrueSight Tech short video is on building better virtualization strategies. So welcome, Patrick. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, and, and thank you for the compliments. So, Patrick, can you tell me a little bit about how enterprises use virtualization within IT? Sure. I mean, virtualization now has become the fastest way to get started with your infrastructure. You know, whether it's servers for the applications that are running in your network, the web servers, the databases, um, you'll name it. The, the other thing that uh, virtualization has allowed is also to bring solutions to market faster. You know, I, I mean, I've had experiences when I first started with virtualization. If you don't right size your virtualized environment and you're not keeping track of the memory and the the CPU consumption, you know, you might create an environment that works really well for like three weeks and then all of a sudden it dies on you. Um, and you don't want that to happen like in the middle of a critical, uh, perhaps even like a seasonal time for your organization. You know, um, you might think you have it all set up and sized properly. And then whenever your infrastructure becomes overloaded, you start losing revenue. That's one thing. But it also you lose um, morale. You can also lose, you, you know, a, a failure in your virtualized environment could actually lead to, um, you know, l losing some of your brand identity. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, whenever we go on that site, it always, you know, conks out. You don't want, you don't want to have that footprint. So it sounds like virtualization is a really great way to stay competitive, but let's talk about how virtualization plays within IT operations. Sure. Well, with IT operations, you know, it, IT operations has, has come from sort of managing and control of, of your IT infrastructure. However, companies have learned that they need to have control, but they also have to provide, and, and it's easier to do now, sort of this self-provisioning aspect. So that if you have uh, an app team that's uh, developing applications and they're going in production and they have the ability to on the fly back up, recover and provision more virtualization resources as needed without going through the IT operations, IT operations is going to oversee everything. Okay. And they can also, you know, mitigate some problems, but the organization is turning towards, you know, giving more people more resources faster. So it sounds like this can get pretty complex under the covers. Can you give us an idea of the complexity that IT operations is facing as they roll out these virtualization initiatives? Sure. Um, and, and because um, IT operations, they're also, most enterprises are now in this sort of hybrid um, mode where, you know, everything used to be like directly in the data center, managed directly in the data center. In order to save money, um, there's, you know, software as a service. Um, there's there's all kinds of ways to implement uh, virtualized strategies. Just the architecture of all these virtualized environments within an enterprise can get really complex so that you could have, you know, some cloud hosted virtualization, you could have on premise and uh, it, you know, just having 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 a view of is important. But again, I want to emphasize, you know, the idea of agility versus control. And so the other thing is providing, uh, you know, good training on the virtualized environment so that people can self serve um, security and and that the folks that you give the responsibility to uh, for your virtualized environments that they're well educated, they know how to. Um, you know, move forward with providing services without, you know, under provisioning or over provisioning. Tell me a little bit about the the TrueSight operations management solution. Um, and let me just, uh, you know, step back for one minute. We, we do monitor virtualized environments as part of our TrueSight operations management solution. And we do uh, cover all the main vendors, VMware, Hyper-V, uh, Red Hat, Citrix, IBM, KVM and AIX LPAR. So um, we have complete coverage of the virtualized environments that most enterprises have. And with that, you also get the the idea that you're monitoring your infrastructure with TrueSight, but with um, BMC TrueSight Operations Management, it's also sitting alongside of, you know, a complete monitoring solution, not just the infrastructure. So you're going to have application visibility and you're going to have the infrastructure uh, ability. What we provide is the 
the real time and historical monitoring metrics about the health and diagnostics of your virtualized environment. So that you'll see that all of your business critical pieces of your virtualized environment are working, you know, tip top shape. Um, and, and you're really keeping at pace with modern IT. You know, you, most most enterprises are, are very digital, very data driven. Um, and so we can alert you with our solution when, when something um, gets overtaxed and, and you'll be able to fix it before any end user even notices. Thank you so much, Patrick. And sure. um, all of you guys listening, if you want more information, please read through Patrick's latest blog post. Don't accelerate IT and have your virtualization strategies backfire. Thank you so much, Patrick, for joining us. I really appreciate your time today.